What's up, everybody? It's your boy D from DNC Digital back with another episode of DNC Radio. Last week, we were talking about one hit wonders. We set up tournament brackets and I had my buddies here and we were deliberating. So let's see what what uh, let's see what happens. Let's see who wins. So it's going to be uh, my brother from another mother, Brian Davis. What's up, dude? What is up? How's it going, D? Going good. Uh, and then our host with the most, Chris P from the Average Boys podcast. And Chris P plays. What's up, buddy? What's going on, everybody? How's it going? It's Crispy from the Average Boys Podcast. Hope everybody's doing good this week. Let us get going with this tournament. I'm so and, uh, excited. From C101 <laughs> in Corpus Christi, Hitman. What's up, buddy? That made me actually be like, that. hey, everybody, five after five. Good morning, everybody. How's it <laughs> going? Everybody, right. everybody with a radio voice. Give us a, give us a, tra- it. Give us a traffic, a traffic report. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. So it looks like we are now in the... Uh, I wouldn't say what is it. What do we I always get confused when it comes to this because I always want to say the semifinals because like I look at all the fucking cool basketball. Set, the the finals are the last two. Semifinals are the four. It's then the cool, but I never know what to eight. say before that. <laughs> so Quarterfinals <laughs> are the eight. Or eight eight things. Yeah, now we're up to eight challengers or yeah, uh, sixteen challengers, eight bouts. So oh, no, we are at the semi semifinals. Yeah, something right. like that. So yeah, Let's something like that. I'm really bad at this stuff. All I know is uh. I just love doing this. It's always so fun to do this because I love to hear everybody Hell talk yeah. about different shit. Like, dude, I'll never, dude, I'll never let go of straight up the 13 ghost thing. I'm never oh, going to, every, God. every time we have one of these, I bring it up every time because and last, last week at least guys was the craziest <laughs> shit I had ever seen. At least last week, Hitman was on my side. Yeah. That, that's why it was super <clears> funny. <throat> man. But um, like we said, we have 16 competitors, eight matches, and then we'll be going on to the semifinals and, and quarterfinals or whatever else you want to call it. All of so that. Here we go. We're going to get right at this. We already kind of broke down a lot of different songs, but now it's going to be a little bit more heavier, guys. So we know that all these songs we already deliberated once. So these are all winners in our mind. So here we go. Okay. First bout of the night or the day or whatever time it is right now for any of you listeners. Don't you... Forget about me, or it's going down. So here we go. Deliberation time, boys. D Hitman and Brian. Let's hear it. Uh, I'm still gonna go with Don't You Forget About Me by Simple Minds. Just stick into it. Just stick into it. Nice. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one too. Damn, I, so I, I like I like fall really hard. I, I like it's going down. I, re, I one of my fucking See favorite you at the club. Era, but, it's going down. Yeah, See you at but, Walmart. but shit, man, it's like going down getting a 20 piece from McDonald's. It's going down. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but but yeah, uh, don't you forget about me is going to be used in different movies throughout like forever. It's kind of it's, it's it's hard to go against. Uh, forget about me but i mean if it was my personal preference i would probably go with it's going down but i do see where you gentlemen uh stand and i you know i agree you got it very very cool guys sad to see you go but we understand it's time to go all right here we go so don't you forget about me gets to go to the semi or the quarterfinals my quarterfinals yeah quarterfinals yeah i got one right you got, I got go. one right there you go but here we go on to the next bout Take on me, take, take on, on me. me, and then uh, just a friend, a Biz Marquee. Shit, oh, there it now, is. This, see, I'm telling you guys from the very, very beginning when I saw this list again, being that I hadn't seen the, the list since last week, I didn't really pay attention to who was moving on. And every one of these songs is going to be pretty heavy, guys. So if you're out there in the comments section, of course, we want to hear what you guys have to say about it also. The, the, so the rest, I want you guys to say this, what you guys uh, want. But so yeah, right now. Definitely, definitely leave comments if you guys disagree or agree. And please leave a like and subscribe. Um, yeah, this whole, this whole, the, the rest of these brackets is just going to be difficult. Yeah, they're going to be, gonna be one of the, I'm going to use Brian's line and do the whole, ask me on another day. It'll be a different answer. <laughs> this one, this one is really hard. Um, again, as a kid, I, one of the, one of the one of the 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 music videos that stands out in my head as an early early ch- as a child is the Take On Me video, um, so that is always going to have a special place um, with me. But I mean, come on, Biz Marquis oh, dressed baby. up as Mozart. Come on, yeah, like yeah. come on, Biz Marquis dressed as Mozart. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't go again. This is every every atom in my body is it just won't allow me to go against that song so i'm gonna go with bismarcky 
I was, I was, nice. I, I thought, I thought one of you guys were gonna lean toward Aha. I was gonna, I was like, damn, I'm gonna be the only one voting for Just a Friend. But it seems like Just a Friend is moving on. Yes, it is. Awesome. So Bismarck Key is moving on with Just a Friend. Sorry to see you go take on me, but uh, we love you, but you can't stay. Hmm. All right, so here we go. On to the third bout. Mm -hmm. Ice Ice Baby versus Jump Jump. Now, this is a really hard one, guys, because these songs are, like, correlating in the same type of vibe. I mean, I wouldn't say correlating, but... I I was going to vote for Jump Jump, but I feel like... Ice Ice Baby, man. I feel like Ice Ice Baby was just much, much bigger. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of battling with the idea of crisscross being a one-hit wonder something about that is is not sitting right with me i am a huge um crisscross fan um though that was one of the first tapes i ever i ever owned um so i'm gonna i'm if 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 we're basing it off of a one-hit wonder i would i would probably say ice ice baby agreed yeah well yeah that's all on you now it was just it was just fucking it was just god it was just Huge man, I'm ice ice baby. I'm just gonna, yeah, uh, yeah. okay, ice, good, ice, good, good. I mean, it's like I said, that beat baby. from Jump Jump was fucking. I'm not sick. saying that I rather listen to Ice Ice Baby, but I again, I'm having a hard time. The integrity putting, of the tournament, I'm put, yeah, I'm putting, I'm, I'm having a hard time categorizing crisscross as a one hit wonder because to me they were they weren't a one hit wonder to me so well, i mean sorry. considering the fact that ice ice baby was probably vanilla ice's number one song i did talk about where he had like the go ninja song and you know he probably wasn't a one hit wonder at, if you go back and listen to his music so like i mean i wouldn't i mean but then again it's like a person who loves music you wouldn't consider a lot of these to be one hit wonders except for the quinceanera songs <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like uh, uh, quinceanera songs to me are like, of course, I say that, and all of you guys already know it's the wedding songs, the Cupid yeah, Shuffle, yeah. the fucking the two step, and all this other weird shit, the Macarena. Yeah. Like those. By the way, you guys, you guys better do the electric slide one, one, one. At my wedding, we're gonna do the electric slide and the Cupid Shuffle. So it's it's one of those things, like yeah, like I wouldn't consider Chris Cross or Vanilla Ice a one hit wonder because during the times that they were around, they were pretty fucking popular. Both no, they were, they were huge. And they were both huge impacts on the hip hop community during that time too. Yeah. So, but yeah, it looks like Ice Ice Baby is going to be going to the next step. Sorry, crisscross, you out. Wow. All right, here we go. On to number four. Man, we're already halfway through this, man. Yeah. Damn, D. You better deliberate harder, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking at Tub Thump and Chumbawamba versus Teach Me How to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Oh man, dude, not even a deliberation, man. Jeez, goddamn, goddamn. Because, <laughs> because you know what it is since since things since things are getting a little bit tighter, I can't deliberate too much on them. I'm just gonna have to just shoot from the hip. Yeah, it's just it's, pretty much just shoot from the hip. I'm just gonna have one. to shoot from the hip on this one and just go with my with my gut. Now, like D said, if you ask me tomorrow, maybe my decision changes. But as of right now, it's gonna it's gonna be teach me how to Dougie. Woo! All righty, hip man. Uh, I'm going the opposite. Tub thumping Chumbawamba. Ooh, D. Because oh, of I gotta, that. I gotta start. Here. I gotta start going first. <laughs> You're like, oh man, dude. Take pressure. my tactic. I do. I see. I see your point, Brian. But at the same time, Chumbawamba is just worldwide. Everybody, it is. It is. Everybody it knows is. the band, and everybody yep. knows the song. So it's like, yeah. To where I know, teach me how Dougie but I can't remember the artist's name. You know what I mean? So that's just my point. I'm going to shoot from the hip. I'm going to say Chumbawamba. Oh, wow. All righty. So teach me how to Dougie. Looks like it is not going on. Shout and out I'm, to I'm, I'm going first in the next fucking battle. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> for it. I'll be the anchor. Don't worry. I'll be the anchor. All right. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. We are on. <clears throat> we are already past the half mark of this list, guys. So now we are on number five. About number five. We are looking at Bittersweet Symphony mm-hmm. versus Tainted Love. <laughs> Somebody else go. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I'll go with. Oh, fuck. No, I'll go with Tainted Love. Okay. I'm I'll thinking, go with Tainted I'm Love. 
I'm thinking Soft Cell, Tainted Love too, because it's so iconic and it's been in movie soundtracks and it's been, I mean, little kids even know the song and it's been around since the 80s. So compared to Bittersweet Symphony, it's only- For me, it was like I bought my head more into that one than Bittersweet Symphony. Bittersweet Symphony is a beautiful song. I would would just, I'm just going with what I bought my head more to and it would be Tainted Love. Yeah, Tainted Love, again, I automatically think of the movie Coneheads, and that is probably the one thing out the movie that you just take with you. Like, that, when, you, when, you, when you're done watching... For me, it was movie, when she ate the sandwich. The sa- that was very... That was incredible. <laughs> that was incredible. But for me, it's 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 them reciting that song. So, yeah. It's so crazy, because yeah. every time I think of Tainted Love, I think of the Marilyn Manson remix, the music video. It was so fucking wild, man. Really? <laughs> that music video was so was it like awesome. Was it like gothic country shit? No, dude, it was like... <laughs> It was a, uh, it was the chick from like not another teen movie. It was it was, a, it was based on a comedy or something like that. I feel like the Gothic Country shit is like why. And the actress came shit. out like, and she came out just cult. all nerdy, and then like later on they put the whole like gothic sex appeal on her, and like her in a swimming pool. And I was just like, oh my god, this chick's hot, dude. I got gotcha. you. That was such a fucking <laughs> dude, and it's a <laughs> Marilyn Manson knocked shit. it out of the park with that <laughs> fucking video. He knocked it out of the park with that song. So excuse me. Here we go. So Tainted Love's going on to the next round. Yeah. <clears throat> now on the next, uh, the last uh, of the third uh, bout, I guess, the third to the last bout. Mm-hmm. Rico Suave versus the Cupid Shuffle. Oh. Man, Cupid Shuffle. Cupid Shuffle for me. Just to make it interesting for him, man, I'm going to go with Rico Suave. <laughs> You're going to make him cut it? He's the tiebreaker. Cupid oh, Shuffle is oh, more man. well known. <laughs> Cupid Come Shuffle's on. where you're not going to hear Rico Suave at a wedding. Oh no, hell no. You'll hear you'll hear Cupid Shuffle. You hear it at the bachelor party, but not at the wedding. That doesn't warrant <laughs> that, that. That and only that does not. Do warrant not want to be at the no. bachelor party where Rico Suave is being played. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> maybe a, maybe a bachelorette party. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I can see a bachelorette party. I don't see a bachelor party. <laughs> uh, who the if fuck I'm put at a this bachelor shit party on? and Rico Suave comes on, some weird shit is, is about to happen. Let me just, Rico, I'm just it right now. <laughs> if, 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 if Rico Suave Brian's gonna put on, on the you'll... bandana, and the leather yes. jacket, and those shirts. I'm gonna shirt turn into Rico Suave. So be careful. <laughs> got you out of your cake and shit. Be careful. I don't know. Now you got me. It's, oh man, I'm I'm going Cupid Shovel. There you go. Uh, good call. Good call. I thought I, don't, I thought Rico Suave was gonna fucking just take it because of how we talked about it last week. That it just it won just like that. Well, fuck, Mambo number five was one of the ones I thought was gonna last. Yes, I, I know. I, thought, I agree. Yeah, and I can guarantee that was probably the song further. that you chose. That, you that, was, that was, was mine to, to go. Like that was my, my brackets are, are fucked up. I feel like March Madness is like my bracket. <laughs> for, for me, like, <clears throat> mine's going to probably come up next. So I'm just waiting to see where it's going to go. I hope it makes it. But <laughs> Your time's we'll up. see what happens. So we got. <laughs> time's up. <laughs> <laughs> time's up. Uh, second to the last is going to be Jesse's Girl versus Rapper's Delight. Rapper's Delight. Rapper's Delight. Rapper's Delight. Exactly. That's what I was calling. Yeah. My my call is uh rapper's delight, dude. Like being a break dancer from back in the day, like that's my shit, dude. Like I, I need to see I those can videos. I still man. listen to that shit nowadays. It just Would it you- just it just it, it just had so many arms in it. You have the break dancers, you had the rappers, you had just the culture phenomena. It just it just it just worked. the style worked. back then though too is like and it so and it, it kind of was like the breeding ground for hip hop. Like oh it, yeah, it definitely yeah. was. Yeah. You, you got to put you got to put that in the hip hop hall of fame as well. Hall of fame, top, yeah. Oh, definitely. Top of, yeah. top hip hop songs of all time. That's got to. And be that's it. because uh, Run DMC and Jam Master J, uh, they did a remix of Rapper's Delight. Mm-hmm. Uh, like in the early, like in the late nineties, early two thousands, and it was like the music video was like a bunch of break dancers, like getting underneath a like a like a expressway, and they were just killing it, man. It was like the first time I had seen break dancing on television, like done in like movie quality it blew my mind <laughs> people doing flips and all that other shit i was so blown away by it it's one of my favorite fucking songs dude so i'm happy it's going that far uh and now for the last of this bracket is going to be informer versus baby got back Ooh, don't do it brian 
you you have to at least my mind is already my mind is already made up like you already know know what's what's going on here I, I see. I see a Mick battle Snow coming up. Still dancing on a booty, man. A couple oh rounds. Oh my down the line. god, <laughs> Becky! Just, look at her, look at her butt. butt. It's, so it's so big. big. Exactly. Do need I say more? So here we go. Are we taking baby guy back then? It was just such a quick decision for you. Man. Yeah, I was, I was like, gonna say, guys, like informer, like <clears throat> I like how his album title was like Twelve Inches of Snow." Growing up, now I think he alluded to something else. Full oh, Jesus. He's got that subtle, <laughs> subtle quips and shit. In his yeah. Mouth. What about isn't him? it crazy? Isn't it crazy how a, a a fucking, a fucking Canadian, like was doing hip hop, and the 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 same the the one to do it after him was like Drake. <laughs> Drake. It's a good call. So you can yeah, put them both wrong. in the yeah, same category wrong. as Canadians who did hip hop. Would you consider? Here's my question for you. Would you consider Snow's Informer almost reggae? Well, yeah, I would have considered. Yeah, it. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. It was reggae. Just on his just on his accent that he portrays. Right. Um, I always thought it was reggae. That's a good question. I'm, I'm gonna go with Baby Got Back. Yeah. Don't I, sound I, so. Don't sound. I'm so not. Sad, I'm man. not happy for the semifinal. Don't. Right? No, don't yeah. don't oh, sound dude, so I'm sad. You picked the. You picked the right one. You're on the yeah, right yeah. side. Oh, that it, was gonna be worse. It, You're on the right my, side. Well, see, in my the back side. My decision was based on me sitting in the club in the DJ booth and seeing how the crowd would react if I was playing Snow or playing Baby Got Back. And the minute you hear Becky, look at her butt. The yeah, everyone was crazy. <laughs> They go crazy. Everyone to where, goes crazy. To where you hear Snow's Informer, you hear that. Da, 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 da. People will be like, okay, it's time to go get a drink. <laughs> yeah. And really? everybody, of course, does the <laughs> scat man thing all together, and that's what they laugh about. I, I see I see a battle coming up, like, a few rounds down the line. Oh, no. Where... Dude, I see a battle coming up in the next fucking Is it in the next, next section, fucking round? 30 seconds. I, I, yeah, next I don't 30 wanna, seconds, I don't want to mention it, but I just see, like, a really difficult battle coming up. So, so now we, go, we are guys. in the we semifinals? are on to the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, Let's do me. it. We are on okay. to the quarterfinals. Are we ready for this, boys? Yeah, Let's we go. are. Oh! All right, here we go. Coming back to bout number one. Don't you forget about me versus you. Biz Marquis, just a friend. Don't oh. forget about me. See, I'm telling you, man. This <laughs> don't, is it. Like, don't, this is, don't. This is the don't. heavy hit, man. Everyone the same thing. Is it's, it's don't you forget about me against another uh, hip hop song. Mm-hmm. I just think that the impact. From... You can say that about it. You can say that about both songs, though. If you, if yeah, you I was going to say you can't say. You can say that. Yeah, yeah. Here's about but I think because the impact on both cultures. It's... Yeah, I yeah, but the impact from the Breakfast Club, like that, that kind of puts it over the top for me. Exactly. Here's my. Here's the thing. If it did not, if it was not on the Breakfast Club soundtrack, do you think? Don't you no. think about would still no. do well? No, 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 absolutely no. not. It's based but, off the movie. but be, even though it is based off the movie, it 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 reached the iconic level because of that. Because so of that regar- scene. Yeah, like- because regardless on how it got there, it's there, and you have yeah. to acknowledge it. So I'm gonna go. Sorry, Biz. Yeah, I feel like I feel like when you listen, when you hear Biz Marquis' first note, you get all happy and you're ready to sing along, but when when they did it on the Breakfast Club, don't you forget about me? It was like ingrained in Americana, like that yeah. that music and that song will outlive us all. And it was a perfect combination. And if they weren't together, if they weren't combined, the, the movie and the and the song, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been as iconic. I just think it's the visual, right? It's it's like the yeah the it memory was everything. thing. It, it takes it was you everything. back and yeah. it makes you think of the scene. Biz Marquis and, and Just a Friend, it, you know, probably takes you back to a party or a girl you were trying to talk to. or, But it's just, you already have, I think everybody has the same visual when they hear, don't you forget about me. And I'm basing, that being said, I'm going yeah, to I'm, I'm, go. I'm, I'm basing my answer strictly off of impact. That's okay, it. I gotta give it. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. I guess. So. All right, yeah. guys. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Just a Friend is out. First, first fall, first fall of the new, uh, the new listing. Here we go. Bout number two, Ice Ice Baby versus Tub Thump and Chumbawamba. Ice Ice Baby. 
That's like a straight shot from the hip, Brian. That was, you didn't uh, even give it a chance. That was a bad matchup for 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 Jumbo Wumbo. Uh, I'm gonna agree with Brian. That's fair. That's fair to say. Oof. That's, Oof. A bad, actually, that's, that's a, actually fair to say. That's Oof. a bad matchup. <laughs> All right, Chumba Wumba is out. Ice Ice Baby goes on to the fine semifinals. Woo! Damn. Here we go. This one's probably gonna go quick too, man. Uh, we're looking at Tainted Love versus the Cupid Shuffle. Tainted Love. Oh, Cupid man. Shuffle. Oh fuck. Oh no! I did that it's on purpose. On you, you did that on purpose. <laughs> I, did that, I did that on purpose. I was like, it's all on you, D. You probably, you probably don't even care yeah. about this matchup. Actually, actually, I do. It would have been Cupid Shuffle. Um. Anyway. Anyway, but yeah. I'm gonna say Tainted Love. Oof. Yikes. Fuck! I, I damn it. Big Tainted yikes. Love goes on to the semifinals. <laughs> not mad at it. And here we go. It could have it could have been either one. So it yeah, could be either way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not the mad last at it. bout of the quarterfinals. Oh, this is gonna be fucking hard, boy. Is this the one? Oh, is because no, yeah, I, I feel like we're gonna have Rapper's Delight versus Baby Got Back. Oh Ew. that's hard. That is really hard. I'm no, not this, even gonna this lie. one. This one we have to sit that's down. That's really, really fucking down. hard. It's that's, a that's it's a tie. You gotta admit it's just a tie. That's that's hard. Oh, rappers delight versus. This, baby this is why I love these tournaments. Anybody listening, if you want us to do a tournament out of like whatever, like we've done horror stories, or excuse me, we've done horror movies, Christmas movies, and one hit wonders. Anybody in the comments, hit us up with whatever tournament idea you have because I love doing this shit. Yeah, lightways. This is this is a lot of fun. <clears throat> um, rapper's delight. Rapper's delight. Yeah, I was. I was gonna. I'm gonna lean towards. Oh my god, rappers, Brian! Hold on. Rapper's delight. Say that Listen, one more time. I I'll say it again, just for the people in the back. Um, I'm gonna lean towards rapper's delight. Um, damn. And again, it's just come. It comes up with. It's just a bad matchup for baby. Baby got back. I'm sorry. It's a bad matchup. You talk about. It. Oh fuck! I was gonna say impact. The, the word we always use here, but. The, if it's, if that's it, impact, if it's impact, impact, impact for both of them, but delight. there was just more on Rapper's Delight. I feel like that yeah. that was chapter one in hip hop. Exactly. That's exactly it. What literally, it really was the original first was ever hip hop song. Like All right, boys, we have made chapter it. chapter one in the book of hip hop. We have made it to the semi finals. We have four competitors left. Okay, now we can like probably breathe. Breathe. You're not gonna be able to breathe, boy. This is gonna choke gonna you breathe up. So as far bad. as far as like trying to trying to Chris come up with that. an answer, with a <laughs> there's vote. no breathing here. This there's is no gonna suffocate here. you. We don't breathe here. Uh uh-uh, uh man. This is gonna when you hurt. get that opportunity when you left. hear the when you hear the the deliberations. It's gonna be rough, man. This is gonna get to the really nitty gritty of it, guys, because you have only have four competitors left out of shit. How many do we have earlier? Fucking 16, 17 bouts. <laughs> so, and, you know, and you know what? Just to, just to. Uh, just to make sure that everybody listens, when we did the movie one, the horror and the Christmas one, it's not like we were four film majors or like fucking four film critics. This was just, you know, four regular people who we had promised Braxton on the horror one. Then we had Duke the Dumpster Drossy on the Christmas one. Um, probably the only qualified person here today is. Yeah, Hitman. I was going to say Hitman yeah. is very qualified. Hitman is the for very qualified, you know, the only qualified person. But, you know, don't come after us after, you know, for this shit. Just. Leave in the comments if you agree or disagree. Give us more. I got love letters for choosing that. cartoon Come ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got, we'll, I got we'll, thank you well, cards, Brian, man. Brian never gives us his, his, uh, uh, his contact uh, information. That's why he always welcomes the hate mail. But yeah, only qualified person here is Hitman. And, um, but this is going to be tough. There's four left, four songs left. Yeah, that's it, man. All right, and each one of them is a... Uh... Yeah, I mean, you guys have chosen like probably the most iconic one hit wonders of all times. All right, let's do it. Are we ready to start? Off. Yeah. Here we go. I want a good, clean fight, gentlemen. Good, clean. That ain't, that fight. ain't happening. Brian's. Here. I, want, I want clean, <laughs> detail work. I want hard work. Hard work. Here we go. Don't you forget about me versus Ice Ice Baby. Forget about. Me.
All right, I'll go. Nobody answers. Nobody's gonna answer. I was gonna say. I'll I'll go first. I'll I'll go first. I'll work it out as I'm talking. Um, I initially I'm leaning towards ice, ice baby, but it's just something that it's just not allowing me to go that way. Um, because you don't want it to have the potential to win. No, like whoever wins here goes that, to the finals. Well, and 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 just to clarify, I really don't have a, a a horse in this race at all. This is probably the 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 first one of these that we've done where I haven't had a favorite. Um, so I'm just you know enjoying the ride and and enjoying this this deliberation with you fine gentlemen. But um, to be honest, I don't think I can go with Ice Ice Baby. Um, again, if we're gonna go off of impact, I think it's damn near neck and neck. Um, but if I had a gun to my head, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with. Uh, don't forget about me. I will I will go next <laughs> because I don't want that pressure. I will you 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 use impact and that's that's uh, that's fine. I'm gonna go with the reach, with how far. Like when you talked about, like, be don't careful. You forget about me. Like, be careful. You can. No, I'm just saying. I, I, you talk about reach. Very you talking about reach. Who hasn't seen about reach. the Breakfast Club? Who hasn't? Who hasn't seen the Breakfast Club? If you want to talk about people reach, in, people in Yemen. But I bet that's, they've that's heard bullshit. Ice they've Ice probably Baby. seen this shit. I've heard, I bet they've heard Ice Ice Baby more than they've seen the Breakfast Club. Uh, maybe. I mean, I think that's I, that's one I, of those I, American songs that they know and that they can recognize. And I don't want to fucking do it. Bro. I mean, which like, one I, gets put in Kids Bop, man? <laughs> <laughs> but I've got I've That's got a your... debate. I've got a debate for you right now. Here, here you go. Here's the debate on these two songs. Okay. Being original or being sampled. Because I Size Sample Queen, Don't You Forget About Me, is an original written it's an original song. song. It's an originally written song. And because of that, I'm going with Don't You Forget About Me with Simple Minds because it is an original song written and produced and not sampled by another artist. We're all using different yeah, reasons for our Yeah, I was going to say, and that's why I was going to say, like, when it wonders, it can't be a broad stroke, a broad stroke answer. It's got to, it's going to be so many dick things that are going to affect your answers. on. on just just to stay, just to stay, I, I see it moving on and I'm fine with that. But just to stay with my vote, I'm, I was going to say Ice Ice Baby. Do you want to deliberate that, that was why? A fucking, that was a fucking force. I think I cut you off. I think I cut no. you off. You didn't deliberate exactly why or expound why you thought that would have been. I just think it was a fucking forest fire like it would just went nuts like it's, when you put it against the 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 iconic like fucking image of don't you forget about me. i get it and i'm not mad at it moving on i'm fine with it i'm actually happy that it won rather than ice ice baby but because of i want to just stick with the integrity of the tournament the there was a it was just a fucking brush fire that took over the entire world that is ice ice baby that's Absolutely. that's the only reason I'll, I'll, that's but the only reason why I voted for it. I don't like the damn song. But, but if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Queen doing that sample, he wouldn't have been even a, a an artist or a, a, a you know. Do you think he would have made it if it wasn't for Queen's song? But yeah, but that, but that, that but, can also go for a bunch of different is, artists too. But because to be objective, the community, a bunch of the hip hop community always sampled music from other artists and created music from it. But to be objective, you could say the same thing about don't don't you forget about me. If it wasn't for that movie, exactly. then yeah, like, so it's it's kind of it's 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 kind of it's kind of equal on both sides. And, but and, listen, I get it. And to go with what D was saying, like, well, I'm I'm gonna be forty this year, and I don't remember. I do remember the Breakfast Club when I was young, and of course the movie itself, and I do remember the song. I just don't remember how hard it hit in popularity when it came to playing on the airwaves and being around the community as much as. Um, the other song did baby uh ice ice baby because i was there for that i was growing up for that i was there during that that time so th- the impact of it at the time i know the ice ice baby i just don't know the impact of don't you forget about me because i wasn't uh i don't know mature enough to listen to the music yet or i wasn't into music at that time i was still an infant or a child or whatnot so I, my- I, it's really hard to say that 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 the impact was different or the, the, or the fire of ice ice baby was bigger than that because we weren't around for that time. Hitman would know he's a little, probably a little bit older than I am. I'm so way older. Would be a, you. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you would, you would be able to kind of 
shed some light on that for us in the in the idea of how that song was initially absorbed and then of course like during the time radio wise for technology on how music got around and stuff like that it's very hard to compare no that's fair i'm, I'm not mad at it moving it and i would have voted for it but just to stick with what i was trying to vote on i would have voted for ice ice baby and i still do but as as we as we established, uh, don't you forget about me is now in the finals. Yeah, I I would feel like just me on on myself. I know I don't get a vote because I'm just the guy. Oh, <laughs> I'm just the dude with the voice. Oh, you still oh, matter. You, you still matter. You, a, you still matter. I would I would say that love you. that don't you forget about me is it's kind of like it's weathered the time. You know, the it's weathered the time of the period. I mean, even to be mentioned on this list right now, going against it already kind of gives a testimony to how much of an impact it, it really was. Like you're still you're still listening to it as a song whenever you hear it, as opposed mm -hmm. to Ice Ice Baby that when you hear it at the time it was probably making everybody dance, but now you hear it and you're like, ah, fucking nice. Like you're yeah, not yeah. taking it seriously as you are, you know, uh, don't you forget about me. Yeah. So like for nice. me, like the difference between those two songs is like when I hear Ice Ice Baby, it's kind of like a dum dum. Like I'll just be like, ha, ah, cool, cool. But like, I want to sing Don't You Forget About Me. Like I, mm -hmm. I feel that song more. Like, I don't know it how should. to explain it, but like. No, it, no, no. Yeah. You, and it, it takes it me back to more. exactly why uh, the reasoning you gave when we voted um, Christmas Vacation as the best Christmas movie. Oh, yeah. Because like well you said. Done, gentlemen. Well done, Well done. Well done, it, it, like you said, it had every it, it checked off every box. Mm. It made you feel like you were in there with them, and it's exactly what Christmas meant. Like, no, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah, don't so you forget like, about me is a rightful, rightful spot in the finals. So it looks like don't you forget about me goes to the finals. Now for the last semifinals, here we go, boys. Tainted so love go. versus rapper's, rapper's delight. delight. Oh, it's gonna, gonna oh. it's it's gonna it's it's easy for me. Um, it's Rapper's yeah. Delight and Tainted Rap Love, you said? Yes. Yeah, Tainted Love and oh, Rapper's you put, Delight. You put me down for Rapper's Delight. I'm in there. Hitman, I want you to go next. What do you, what do you got? What do you got? So tough, though. That one is so tough. Both of them are iconic. Both of them are lasting. If, if I guess Rapper's Delight. Believe it or not, uh, you guys are making it easy on me. Great, yeah, I'm gonna go with Rapper's Delight. <laughs> go ahead, though, hey, man, to finish your point, what were you gonna say? Well, I mean, it goes back to being Rapper's Delight is the iconic, original, first ever hip hop song. You can't avoid that. You can't avoid it. It was it was the the start of hip hop, and even that's though a, that's, that might be the biggest what if well, one of the biggest what ifs in music history. Yeah, if that didn't come out. And that didn't do what it did. As much as or it influenced, influenced people and influenced other artists to become hip hop artists, it's 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 iconic. You can't you can't go against that. Very very good. Very we'll two we'll very say. deserving songs. Yes. We'll honorable say, mentions, yes. like I've always said, every one of these songs is an honorable mention. Tainted Love is uh, is a great song. There's not probably one person in the world that doesn't know it. That's a and dope it's so beat. crazy it was a dope because melody. Cause even in the concept of it, we probably know more of the lyrics to Tainted Love than we do know the songs for Rapper Delight, Rapper's Delight. Like to know the lyrics by words. So like that's that's crazy. Cause you know, Rapper's Delight itself, there is so many, so many fucking verses to the song. Uh, it, it's it, there's just when you hear the the title rappers delight there's certain things that pop in your head that's a memory of the song that you like like of that one particular part of the song where tainted love it's always the that that beat like the like right when it starts up yeah like it, it, it's i'm shit man i don't i don't envy you guys when it comes to this shit because to make choices like I'd be rattling my brains for like 40 minutes each of each one of these things. I'd be a horrible person to be in this. Thank God I'm the host. Thank God I'm hosting it. Got to make the tough decisions sometimes, man. Yeah. But um, 100%, man, Rapper's Delight is probably, like I said, I'm not going to lie. It's one of my favorite songs, like even to this day. So it, it's for me. It's, I hope it wins. But now we are on to the finals, boys. What a two journey very deserving it's been. songs. Yeah, two very What a deserving. journey it's been. We've had a lot of great music that's been called out for our one hit wonders list. But from our 32 songs, we are down to two. 
And those two songs, Don't You Forget About Me and Rapper's Delight. I want the record to show that I voted for Mambo number five. <laughs> <laughs> Did that even make it out the first round? Oh, it didn't, didn't make, make it past it the first round. It got voted out right. It didn't make it past the first Just it like Poltergeist. Poltergeist. 13, Poltergeist 13 goes, man. 13 goes. As it should. <laughs> you just, you're the one that keeps reopening that scab. I mean, I'm I'm fine letting it. I'm fine with that because I mean, every time we have a new guest in these tournaments, I want to know. Okay. I want and this is I the first time I got somebody goes. on my side. <laughs> last, time, last time Duke the Dumpster Jones, he was like, man, Poltergeist was so scary and he went on and on about Poltergeist. He goes, but shit, 13 Ghosts. Man, dude, 13 like, Ghosts, man. I'm not even lying on you, man. Watch, it's going to be me. revisited. And when they revisit it, it's going to be amazing, dude. No, it's going to be crazy. It's gonna I, be- I, can, I can agree. But um, uh, two very, very, very deserving um, songs from different sides of the spectrum, both signifying, symbolizing different things in people's lives. Um, both will outlive us all. Um, I need a second though. All right, I'll jump in. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, go ahead. I'll, I'll jump in. Um, I'm gonna give this 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 one a little bit more respect. Um, I think that one was popular because of a movie, and it's synonymous with the movie. And if it was standing on its own, I don't think it would have as far of a reach than Rapper's Delight. Rapper's Delight was the birth of a culture. Um, And it grew legs and it was, there wasn't, you know, especially over here, I'm a little bit biased because I'm from the East Coast. So, you know, there wasn't an aspect of the culture that wasn't affected by that by that song and by the movement it was a movement you know and um it it was it's it's it it should to me go down as the best one hit wonder if you even want some people might even argue that it shouldn't even be considered a one hit wonder just by the impact of it um but i'm gonna go with with rapper's delight as my number one all-time one hit wonder I'm I'm gonna actually agree completely with what Brian says because that song started a movement. It started hip hop. It started rap. It started break dancing. It started I don't know how much stuff tagging and graffiti and exactly. stuff like that. Everything, Everything. all the aspects yeah. of hip hop. And it's it it's just a coincidence that it was just a one hit wonder, but it's got to be one of the most iconic songs of all time. Yes. Don't you forget about me by by Simple Minds is a great song, and it'll it will always uh, remind us of of the Breakfast Club and actually how that song is a soundtrack to actually the plot of that movie because at the end of the movie they're sitting there saying Don't you forget about me after the Breakfast Club was done. It's it's but it did not start. It is not the this it it literally Rapper's Delight is the Adam and Eve of hip-hop literally it is if it wasn't for that song it wouldn't have it wouldn't make it i think hip-hop would not be the way it is you know what i mean rapper's delight has got to be literally the adam and eve the beginning the genesis of hip-hop and rap and i'm gonna go with rapper's delight you're you're entire you're exactly right brian you said it well put you said it way better than i did it's like, I think, yeah, you are absolutely right. Rapper's Delight has got to be the song. It just, it's just a coincidence that it is a one-hit wonder. But it is the song, I think. Uh, it's a unanimous decision. I'm also going to vote for Rapper's Delight. But before I get to why, I, I do want to show respect to Don't You Forget About Me. Definitely iconic. And you always go back to... It's a song that you do want to listen to and you do want to like sing along to. And uh, it, it, it could mean a lot for people that were teenagers at that time. Teenagers who found themselves reflected in those characters in that movie. Um, you know, the, the one girl who was quiet or the, the one 
dude who wanted to act tough, but in reality, he wanted, you know, some connection with people that could, you know, a Smoke lot of up, people, Johnny. Yeah, there was definitely <laughs> a lot of representation with the different characters in that movie. And with the song being associated with that movie, that song can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. But I would be lying if I, I would be lying if I said that I didn't just get emotional thinking about the hip hop culture and what that, I grew up in it in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And I'd be lying if I, if I said I didn't just get emotional, just listening to the beautiful things that you guys have said about the hip hop culture, how everything was started, the Adam and Eve, the chapter one to hip hop. It is a one hit wonder, but that hit knocked some shit out. And it is an entire genre. It is an entire culture to the point that people borrow from that culture to make themselves make themselves feel better in their lives. Whether it's dancing or style or art or music or a certain drum pattern from a song or a certain instrument from a song that you want to sample or just the carefree party living show peace and love type of culture that is hip hop with the exception of a couple times where it wasn't but it that that's what the culture is we just just want to have a good time create good music tell some stories too it's a lot of storytelling in hip hop and to think that this one hit wonder where you didn't hear, hear any songs anymore from this group of men you know sidebar like music is just man's greatest achievement I, I will always say that if you can take a wooden thing a piece of wood like a guitar or if you can write lyrics down and you can get emotion out of somebody or you can just bang on a drum and get emotion out of somebody it's the it's mankind's greatest achievement and to think that this one hit wonder i don't know if these guys knew what they were doing or what they were going to accomplish it just started an entire movement, an entire culture. And for that reason, I didn't think it was gonna be, but I am not, I'm not mad at it. That Rapper's Delight uh, between us four has been named the number one, one hit wonder in music history. I 100% knew it was gonna be Rapper's Delight, boy. <laughs> I 100% knew that. I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that you can't forget, like Rapper's Delight is, everybody's heard it everybody knows it you know from from any culture you look at i mean dude we even had sir mix it out on the list and i guarantee sir mix a lot will give them uh rapper's delight inspirational oh, yeah. uh quotes for for them for him making his music mm -hmm. like he's yeah. they spawned like you guys said a, a whole culture of and it wasn't just music it was art yeah, the whole cultural phenomenon of what hip hop manifested itself to be off of this one song. And if you go back to those days, like it was still kind of like that disco -y vibe where mm -hmm. people were still doing Soul Train and wearing tights and shit. And this blew up with the Beastie Boys and Sir Mix-a-Lot and, and the hip hop of baggy clothes like it changed the fat, the face of everything at that time. You know, Rapper's Delight, like it was it was a story. It, it, it's man, it's so hard to even explain, because during that time, like, you know, uh, the culture was very um, pushed down. You know, you know, they de they dealt with a lot of stuff. They were still dealing with a lot of stuff, and for something like that to come out, that type of song to come out, and it inspire the entire culture to rise and create even more. Like, dude, like, fuck, man. That's that's more that surpasses what the idea of a one hit wonder is. It's to me, Sugar that's Hill. it was the Sugar Hill Gang, right? Yeah, Sugar, Sugar Hill, Hill, Hill Gang. Gang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sugar it's, Hill it's, it surpasses. We want to make sure we give we gotta give credit to the to the group. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yes. You're absolutely right. Yes. You gotta give yeah, them credit. Yeah, yeah I, I I'm sorry. We were just we're talking about just the title of the song. It's it's crazy but, because um, you know it, it coming up now. It just makes you sit back and realize. Like, you know, just like you said, it's far past the one hit wonder or the definition. You know, we, we've we've already passed that stage in this conversation and just talking about what that song did in the world. You know, like there are there are like 
Australian rappers. There are rappers in England. There are rappers in India. There are rappers in, you know, it 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 birthed. I mean, reggaeton came out of there, right? Because that's pretty yeah. much Spanish yeah. rapping and yep. exactly. I, I, Punjabi MC, like all that shit. I mean, fucking Will Smith, dude. <laughs> had a whole dance, Apache man, <laughs> dedicated to shit. I that mean, was just <laughs> fucking. I'm that. telling you, man, like. Like fucking Will Smith, man. Like fucking Will yeah, Smith, like, bro. No, the reason why we I say that is because the world Smith. impact and world we would, and Will we would Smith. not have had Will Smith, and he's he's right though. He's not wrong. He's yeah, not wrong. like like he's like, like it's so crazy to know that <laughs> Will Smith made his entire career without saying one bad word. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? and, and you know what? You know what? We were talking about all this stuff that came out of it. There are just some great great music documentaries on hip hop oh, yeah. also. Yeah. And the culture and graffiti and breakdance and like all that shit, man. Like, I'm not mad at it. Thank yeah. you guys for being well here. Done. That was well awesome. Done, that was awesome. That was good. That was a that was a cool ass tournament. I love talking about music. Um for everybody listening and watching, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh like I said, I took a break, just needed a, a reset, and um I'm back ready to just take all the interviews I can and just put out more content. And I love doing this because I love the uh, response that I get from people. I went to Mission Pro Wrestling and it was just so cool. It was one of the things that I needed. It reinvigorated me because people I didn't know was coming up to me. They were coming up to me, asking me for a picture and like, hey, I, I listen to your stuff. I watch your stuff. I'm like, you want a picture with me? Like it was, it was just this strange feeling, but it was something that I needed. And it made me think about the people I do reach and the support that I do get. So thank all of you guys, whoever listens, whoever watches, I appreciate you guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, go in the comments, see if you uh, agree or disagree, or give us some tournament ideas, because this one came up like three weeks ago, I want to say, and then we started setting this up, scheduling. Um, you can find me at DNC Digital on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I want to thank everybody. Um, of course, my brother from another mother, um, him along with Crispy have had the opportunity to do a Christmas movie podcast with former WWF star Duke the Dumpster Josie, Brian Davis. Thanks a lot for always coming on and always being a part of this. It's my pleasure, D. You know, anytime that you uh, need me and, and, and furthermore than that, you know, I just love it, you know, just kicking it with you and kicking it with the fellas and being able to shoot the shit. And this is, this is a lot of fun for me. So I do appreciate it, man. Keep up the good Definitely. work, man. I appreciate you. And uh, the host with the most that always comes in and make sure he he uh, is the moderator between all of us. Make sure he keeps the fights, the you know, the ref, the the fights the, to a minimum. Uh, co-host of the Average Boys co podcast and Chris P plays. Uh, Chris P, thanks a lot for doing this, bro. Thank you guys very much for bringing me on. Uh, D, thank you so much for host, having me host this, man. I always love doing these things for you, man. And I appreciate you bringing me on because makes me feel good, man. It gets me out of my environment. You know, uh, I run the Average Boys podcast with my co-host Trigger. We talk about a bunch of comic book stuff and a bunch of nerdy things, you know. Uh, it's cool to talk about, like, music and, and horror films, like, things that kind of take us out of our environment. Uh, guys, if you'd like to check us out, we go live Friday nights on Facebook Live, on Twitch also. And if you want to check us out, we are on Spotify as the Average Boys podcast and Amazon uh, pop literally anything, any of your podcast places that you want to go check us out, we're there. Uh, just look it up, the average boys, D A, the average boys, uh, because it's the dab. Got it. It's a great, it's a great podcast. podcast. I'm glad, great I'm podcast. glad you, I'm glad you got that on there. Um, no, it's an awesome podcast, and uh, I was there, I was a guest one time, and we should I love about... to bring you guys on soon, man? We've been fucking talking a bunch of comic book, man. There's so much comic book shit that's been going on, dude. I don't know if you guys have been watching of Overload. Course, Invincible. Of course, like we talked about earlier. Invincible said, uh, is the shit. Yeah, Invincible's great. There's the Falcon, the Winter Soldier. There's Jupiter's Legacy. We have Loki coming up soon. We have Modok, the cartoon coming up. There's a bunch of stuff from Marvel. There's a bunch of drama with DC. Comic books are crazy. If you guys want to go check us out, just hit us up. Uh, I want to bring, of course, you and D and Brian, hopefully. Uh, hey, man, I don't know if you're ever into comic books or into nerdy things. If you ever want to come and talk some nerdy things, boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could do it. I, I just want to say that this is, this was my first podcast. I'm glad you guys were gentle and uh, you know, hopefully you'll call me later. You know, <laughs> oh, no, oh you will. definitely, man. I we mean, will just, just, just lock the door on your way out. Will you? Yeah. <laughs> the money's, the money's on the dresser. 
You want to go make a, I need to go make a sandwich now, I think, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so, but it'd be uh, cool, man. Like I said, like uh we run a I run a very nerdy podcast, dude. Like we talk Star Wars, we talk you name it, you're in. Yeah. So yeah, uh, all the links the nerdy all, universe, you let me know. All the yeah. links are in the description uh to the average boys podcast and crispy plays. And last but not least, our esteemed guest for this tournament. Uh, from C101 and Corpus Christi, uh, 30 years, 25, 30 years in the music business. That's exactly why I wanted him on here on this episode. Uh, hey, man, thank you so much for coming in and telling us some cool stories about the music business and, and sharing your knowledge of um, the encyclopedia that is your brain in music. Yeah, I, I love doing this. This is the first time I ever did this. and It was, it was fun. It it, it brought me back a lot of uh, memories and stuff like that and and yeah you can you can catch me on c101 from three to seven in the afternoons on in uh, on the iheart radio app and on big 93.9 from 10 to 3 uh on the iheart radio app and uh, you can also find us on our websites and and uh hopefully i i'd love to do this again dude this was fun i loved it hell yeah yeah the, these tournaments are, are a lot of fun uh, i just don't know what what topic we should do next we gotta we gotta think about it and we will get back to it. Anybody in the comments, let us know what topic you want us to do, whether it's uh, fucking, I don't know, action movies or Disney movies or whatever the hell you want. I, I still want to do another conspiracy fucking episode. What about, uh, what about Mandela effects? That shit was crazy, too. Mandela effects is cool. Like, I'm down. I'm down. But I got to see what we can do in a tournament setting. Um, I, I really enjoy these tournaments. But like I said, again, everybody, thank you guys so much for listening, for, for watching, for supporting. Um, anybody with a beard, just uh, make sure you hit up uh, canyouhandlebar.com. There you go. Got a couple gentlemen with beards. Uh, get some beard bomb, get some mustache wax, get some beard oil. Uh, get yourself a cool little mustache comb or a beard brush. Use my promo code DNC Digital for 15% off. Everybody, thank you again so much. Everybody, have a great night and take care of yourselves. Peace. <laughs>